We're not one direction, we're one erection. <laughs> what? <laughs> the oldest boy band in town. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Andrew McConnell, I'm a chef here in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, and this is my restaurant, Supernormal. And I own another restaurant called Cumulus Sink and Cutler & Co in Fitzroy. I, I started cooking over 20 years ago, and since then, um, well, I'm blessed to work with a lot of uh, young chefs. So we started off at Cumulus. We opened uh, seven years ago. The idea behind Cumulus was I wanted to create a space or a restaurant where I could come and eat on my day off. And it's kind of refreshing and pretty cool that people are doing that, using it however they want. I think that the menu also had to reflect what I felt like eating when I went out. So it had to have a good selection of oysters. It had to have a good charcuterie section and it had to have lots of vegetables, which is kind of what I like to eat when I'm not at work. So um, yeah, I think there's something there for, for everyone. Gorgeous little nuggets. Let's see the boudoir. We've taken the concept of boudoir, which is a blood sausage, and we've um, baked it uh, in a bain marie, similar to a custard, which we then place in a piping bag to make a, uh, a blood paste, which is pretty gorgeous stuff. We just spread this on some toast. This came onto the, one of the first things we put on the menu and it's been on ever since. Not because it's the most popular, but mainly because it's the thing I like to eat the most. Just pop a bit of tomato. Got a nice amount of, uh, kind of degree of rustic charm. And while they're cooking, we just make a, a salad of some, um, some shredded parsley and a little bit of shallot. And just a small pinch on the top of each one. You gonna smash one? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely will. The head chef I we work with here is Casey McDonald. Working here is one of the, you know, one of the toughest kitchens in Melbourne. The fact that we're open from 7 a.m. until one in the morning, and then at five in the afternoon, we've got upstairs. We have a wine bar that kicks in. What, what would you tricky. call it? Tricky. That's pretty polite. Tricky, yeah. What Casey's done is he's come up with this idea, which is cool as taking all the charcuterie scraps and offcuts and trimmings and dicing it all up and cooking it down with onion, capers, and some white wine. We've taken the idea of uh, mussels on papillot and we're cooking the mussels with this slurry of goodness in a, in a paper bag. The room's just engulfed with this awesome smell of crustacean mussels. We've got our burnt lemon. Mm, that's outrageous. Mm. How the hell I'm gonna get through three more restaurants tonight is beyond me. <laughs> so tonight I've invited a few friends. I've got um, Chris Watson. He is currently my business partner. Jade and Ong, we've worked together for about 10 years. Sean, my brother, and he works at a restaurant called Monster. Frank, Frank's uh, an old friend of mine. He's always good for a night out, good laugh, and loves his food, which is really important. Do you want me to skull this? Smash it, Frank, we gotta go. No, no, I'll get, like, brain freeze. <laughs> Let's go. From here, we, um, we travel to our neighbouring restaurant, which is called Yu I think I've been to Yu more than any other restaurant in Melbourne. Oh, you just, oh, you just missed the drag queen. Frank, come in. There's something really calming about the environment. Um, it's in a basement, it's quite discreet, and Yoshiki is you know, a seriously good cook. A really down-to-earth gentleman, a really lovely guy, so there's something special about going there every time. Yoshiki wanted to um, do a menu for us tonight. What's amazing about Yoshiki's food visually is the, the amount of detail and restraint and a large amount of finesse that goes into the foods. So it's really quite subtle, his hand and how he cooks. I'm excited about uh, charcoal grilled skewers, so yakitori, yeah. um, but it says thigh fillet, breast fillet, Giblet, heart, mince, liver, skin of chicken, duck, and wagyu cheek. Yeah, it's awesome. quite an extensive list of yakitori. Jaden, do you want to order some sake? Yeah, we should have some sake. Yeah. <laughs> we should. Yeah. Cheers. Bye, guys. One thing we ate that I loved was the tempura, especially the eel and corn, which is a combination I never had before. It's corn, corn on the top and eel underneath, covered in tempura. That is out of control. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I think we're going to try a third bottle of sake by that time. Hi! Braised pork belly and melted cheese was one of those awesome car crashes that shouldn't work but did. Who the fuck would have thought? Melt cheese on fucking pork. <laughs> I think it's one of the few photos that took up the whole night. I, I asked the waitress what it was poached in and she wrote it out for me. It's in my jacket. 
somewhere where I, wherever I left my jacket, somewhere. And then to finish, I think we had the whole coral perch, which is a really delicious fish. Again, one of my favourite places to go and one of my favourite chefs in Melbourne. I'm really full now. Yeah. yeah. And we've only got two courses to come. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. We finished dinner and we, uh, kind of, now it's going to be blurry. Let's have a punch up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been following us all night, I feel like. I don't know if I'm paranoid. I am awesome. seeing in for a beer. Yeah, everyone's very thirsty. We're headed to a bar called Bar Exuberant. The entrance is um, almost through the manager's little office. It's a very small, hidden away bar. And it's almost like a little fairyland that he's created, which is kind of really special. Matt, you know, he's not only a, a great barman, but he's a creator, and he's also a really successful contemporary artist here in Melbourne. So, you know, he's a, it comes from a creative place and a good place, which is why I love that bar. Do you want us to pick your drinks tonight or do you want to be fussy and look at the heads? Nah. We trust you. The drinks are based on and around rum, which is a secret love I have. Uh, we started with a, um, a small glass, a little thimble of a 23-year-old rum, which was absolutely out of this world. If you don't like rum, you will have to try that. Cheers, Chrissy. Cheers, cheers. We were happy. We were merry. It was all good. <laughs> the duck, it's super normal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my the God. Duck, the yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll click to your words. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, that duck. Oh, my God. You alright, Frank? You full? I'm so full. I can't yeah, tell so you. Right. Well, you got a taxi back into town and went down Chinatown to a place called Supper Inn. Right, anyone who's worked in hospitality at some point after a shift has ended up at Supper Inn. Supper Inn is um, in a really old two-storey building. I think it's an old Victorian building off Chinatown. 30 plus years it's been there. But it's one of those places, it's, you know, it's, it's late night comfort food if there's such a thing. Man, I love what they've done with this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's so matter of fact. Everything about it is practical. You know, I think when I go there, I think I've eaten the same menu just about every time. This is Josh Murphy. Josh is the chef and um, my business partner at the Builders Arms Hotel. We've all worked with Josh for many years. And this is John Paul Toomey. High five. High five! <laughs> High five! <laughs> so we ordered um, steamed oysters, which are really good at the moment, coming to winter. Large Pacific oysters that were steamed with uh, just some uh, dark soy and some spring onion and ginger. Bit of a signature there. Exo pippies, again, delicious. Donuts are usually served with congee, but we like to eat them with the, um, the exo pippies, and it's great to just get the chunks of donut and smash them up in the, uh, all the juice and just eat the chewy bits of uh, donut that are just sodden with all that goodness. Spice quail, which is great to just to eat with your hands and chew on the bones at one in the morning with lots of Qingdao, lots of beer. And then we had fried flounder, which is just a really great late night thing. These are the best bits. Perfect crispy tail and, 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 and fins. How long have you been here for now? 27. 27 years. That's a long shift. You know, there's something reassuring in going back, being served by the same person after 20 something years. And attached to that is a lot of good memories. After there, we went to Cumulus upstairs, which is the wine bar. And it's kind of nice up there when it's late at night and everyone's gone and it's just a nice place to hang out. Right, where's that deep fryer? Frank had this idea. He's been talking about it for about a year. Camembert, deep fried, rolled in salt and then a bit of maple syrup, maple syrup. on the top. That sounds out of control. And delicious. <laughs> at the time it was a good idea. <laughs> this is an experiment. Let's see what's going to happen. It's going to be amazing. This is something we got this week, and uh, they believe it's a porcini mushroom. We had them delivered the other day, and we thought we might some, do some um, mushrooms on toast, because it's kind of a good breakfast, late night snacks. I'm just dipping the camembert into a mixture of egg and cream, and then covering it with panko breadcrumbs. I'm just going to cook these with a bit of salt and a bit of butter, and we're just going to have a bit of tarragon, and that's it. This could change the landscape of food in Melbourne. Creme fraiche, caviar, enough set. It didn't get too messy. No, I think, I think it was okay. But then again, I can't remember a lot of it. <laughs> Do 
Do you remember the place Rude Food? And you'd get there and you know, you got the whole thing, it just looked like a big vagina in front of you. And you get that banana fritter with two ice cream balls on the end and then red syrup on the knob. And you gotta eat it like that. <laughs>